fourth and final day at Euronevel 2022. Today we're focusing on the French MOD booth. They are showcasing innovations, both future programs as well as current programs. So this is the innovation zone of the booth uh, relating to seabed warfare. Uh, the French MOD uh, unveiled its uh, seabed warfare strategy last year. Uh, this is really becoming a, a keyword, uh, even before uh, the, the incident with the Nord Stream in, in the Baltic Sea. Uh, they want to be able to go down to 6,000 meters uh, in depth. Next to me is the Proteus project. Think of it as a swarm of sonar UUVs. So that's the sonar part. It is fitted with uh, an antenna, which is some kind of like data center. So the sonar data is stored in this uh, buoy. The buoy goes up to the surface to transmit the data. And then it can dive back down and dock again with the UUV. Uh, they demonstrated a swarm of 24 UUVs, which was uh, representing the equivalent of a flank array, uh, which was uh, 400 meters by 100 meters, so a very significantly uh, large uh, flank array sonar system. This is a promising system. The company received the Euronaval Innovation Awards. This is the Demicta project. It is a French and Japanese uh, cooperation project involving the Japanese ATLA, the French GGA, as well as Mitsubishi Heavy Industries and Thales. The idea of the project is uh, to fit Thales flank arrays on the OZZ5 UUV by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries with a new kind of AI, new kind of uh, processing and algorithm so that the synthetic aperture sonar uh, waves can go penetrate deep into the seabed, deep into the sand or the mud in order to better detect buried mines. Next to the OZZ5 uh, is a display for the SLAMF or MMCM project. Uh, so this is the next generation uh, mine countermeasure uh, system uh, of the French Navy. It's a cooperation with the Royal Navy. Uh, the program uh, entered the production phase uh, last year, uh, but it is still uh, in its uh, demonstration phase. Behind it is the Sea Explorer by Alcimar. The French DGA is, uh, and the French Navy actually are both uh, conducting uh, experimentation uh, to see how gliders uh, could have uh, military applications. I noticed that uh, during Euronaval 2022, Naval Group was showing a Sea Explorer glider coming out of a torpedo tube of a Barracuda class uh, submarine. This is the Drix USV by uh, I, former company AX Blue, now known as uh, XL, as you know. Uh, they just received a contract award by the DGA uh, relating to the SHOF program, which is uh, which relates to uh, hydrography, so uh, in order to map the, the, the seabed. And that's pretty much it for the, the seabed warfare uh, topic. The booth also features a scale model of the POM, Patrouille Outre-mer, so these are next generation offshore patrol vessels. Uh, it's a program uh, which was awarded to French shipyard Socarinam. Those vessels will be based uh, overseas in the Caribbean, in Réunion Island, as well as uh, in uh, Polynesia, uh, New Caledonia and, and Tahiti. The first-in-class ship is currently uh, conducting um, sea trials uh, out of Brest. Um, it should uh, sail to Polynesia, I believe, early next year in uh, January, February time frame. And uh, stay tuned because uh, we will try to cover uh, this vessel uh, by the end of the year. So we are now in the unmanned zone of the booth. This is the Manta, they call it the unmanned hybrid vehicle. So it's both a USV and a UUV because it can be operated as a USV on the surface as well as a, as an UUV underwater, unmanned underwater vehicle below the surface. And it can conduct various kinds of missions such as ISR of course, but as well as seabed mapping. This is a model of the VSR 700 VTOL UAV. 
Uh, it's currently conducting trials. Uh, it's a product by Airbus Helicopter and you can see a larger model on the Airbus booth. At sea trials from a frigate, a frame, uh, is set to, are set to take place uh, at the end of March about the frame Provence, uh, we learned recently. Uh, and it's set to become, uh, possibly it's not a done deal yet, but it could well become the, the VTOL UAV of the, of the French Navy. Behind it is a system that has just been delivered to the French Navy, uh, the Aliaka, also known as SMDM. So think of it as uh, the Scan Eagle for the French Navy, even though it has a less endurance and range because it's, it has an electric motor. Uh, I believe three of them have been delivered in July. It's launched by a catapult, uh, it's retrieved via a net, and it can be launched from a very small uh, vessels, such as OPV type vessels or smaller patrol vessels. Last but not least, the Innovation Zone is featuring the LMAP. It's a directed energy weapon by French company Silas. It has uh, already been demonstrated on land in 2020 and 2021. It's a two kilowatt laser weapon, but it's uh, very efficient uh, because the, the company is an expert with uh, laser beams. Uh, they can disable a small UAV at uh, one kilometer range. Uh, they demonstrated that uh, on land. The French Navy will be conducted, uh, conducting experimentations at sea uh, next year in 2023. Uh, this was uh, confirmed to us by uh, Admiral Malbruno. Uh, the head of uh, planning and future programs at the French Navy uh, during the Euronaval press trip. We are now in a zone of ongoing programs. Uh, behind me, of course, the highlight of the show, the PANG Peng uh, Next Generation Aircraft Carrier. I already uh, covered it extensively, so I'm not going to spend too much time on it. Uh, next to the Peng display is a Rafale M uh, carrier-borne uh, fighter. And now we're getting uh, into the weapon systems uh, zone. So on display, the Exocet MM40 Block 3C. Uh, I already discussed it a little bit uh, in our day two video. So that's the next generation anti-ship missile for the French Navy. It is fitted with a new coherent uh, seeker by uh, French company Thales. Next to it is the ANL for anti-navire léger, light anti-ship uh, missile, also known as C-Venom in the UK because it's, because it's a French-UK uh, cooperation. The C-Venom missile, you can see it on the HIL uh, Gepard helicopter, so that's the next generation helicopter of the, of the French Navy. Uh, it will replace the Dauphin, the Panther and uh, the Alouette 3. An interim fleet has been ordered for the French Navy to conduct search and rescue, the first of which was delivered uh, last month. It is produced by Airbus Helicopter, a uh, very advanced helicopter. You can see like specific shapes of the blades uh, to make it more silent. Two ANL uh, anti-ship missiles can uh, fit on the uh, military variant, so the interim fleet will not be fitted with weapons, but the, the, the future fleet will carry weapons. And that's an interim, uh, that's a joint fleet. So the Air Force, the Army, and the Navy uh, will use uh, that airframe in various configurations, of course. This is the NH-90 NFH helicopter, also known as Caïman in the French Navy. It is the main anti-submarine warfare helicopter for the French Navy. It is fitted with the flash dipping sonar. It can deploy sonar buoys as well, and the Mu-90 uh, lightweight torpedo. Uh, it also conducts uh, anti-terrorism and uh, search and rescue missions. This is the F-21 heavyweight torpedo by Naval Group. Uh, there are currently two users, the French Navy as well as the Brazilian Navy. Uh, it's a new generation heavyweight torpedo. Uh, this is the Mod 1, uh, currently fitted on the new generation uh, submarine, the, the, the Suffren class, Barracuda type. There's currently a Mod 2 in development. The Mod 2 will bring uh, a new propulsion system for the torpedo because the Mod 1 is currently using a German propulsion system by uh, Atlas Electronic. Uh, the Mod 2 currently in development will bring more performance and again a, a French backend. So again, the F-21 heavy torpedo is currently fitted on board the Suffren class, also known as the Barracuda type SSN. So the new generation uh, of uh, nuclear-powered uh, attack submarines. 
the first one, Suffren, is already in service. Uh, the second, Inner Class, uh, Duguet Rouen, was launched at the end of uh, August and at its divergence, so the power up of its nuclear reactor last month. And uh, it's supposed to uh, start sea trials, I believe, at the beginning of uh, next year. Uh, the Suffren can also deploy uh, the MDCM, a land attack cruise missile, uh, which is a quite unique uh, capability uh, because only the US Navy, uh, Royal Navy, uh, Russian Navy and uh, Chinese Navy can uh, deploy uh, land attack uh, cruise missiles. The booth also features uh, the FDI, the future frigate for the French Navy. The first in class, Admiral Ronard, is set to be launched uh, next month. Uh, it has a very unique design with that inverted bow and it's fitted with next generation systems such as the sea fire radar by Thales. Uh, you can see the scale model of it uh, behind the frigate. Uh, the FDI uh, will likely be fitted with uh, a future missile of the Astor family. So Astor are surface to air missiles by MBDA. So the Block 1NT will bring anti-ballistic uh, missile capability for uh, medium-range ballistic missiles in their terminal phase. This was just a brief, brief overview of the many systems on display on the French MOD booth here at Euronaval 2022. These systems will ensure that the French Navy remains combat-ready in the face of high-intensity combat.